Hey, this is Joe from Brain Buffet. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to adjust the speed of your clips, including this really cool effect called time remapping. I'm using an example from my Brain Buffet course on Premiere Pro, which I created to prepare students for their Adobe Certified Associate exam. Now that we've got some cool B-roll in there, it's time to have some fun and start working with speed changes. I love playing around with slow motion and sports footage. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this first clip that I have and you know hopefully you have something on the timeline. Let's start with something in track two and preferably um, yeah I, I've got this clip right here and obviously we're gonna have to fix that but for now I want to have two clips right next to each other just so you can I can show you something with it. So the one easy way to do a speed change is to simply right click on a clip, come up here to speed and duration, and you get this great little dialog box. First of all, you can change the percentage. So let's say I wanted it to be 80%. And um, then, or you could change, so you, it's either or here. It's either speed or duration. So let's say you knew, hey, I need this to be exactly three seconds. You can type in three seconds exactly. So, and that'll calculate, automatically calculate what the speed percentage would be. You can make it go in reverse and that would be cool. Let's actually have this guy go in reverse so we can see what it looks like. And then this is a real important one, a ripple edit shift trailing clip. So it's gonna shove this jump down on the timeline. Unfortunately, it's gonna shove everything else. So I'll show you what that hap how that happens and how to fix it. But let's go ahead and leave that checked for now. And then time interpolation. When you're just doing this basic speed change, frame sampling and frame blending are probably gonna end up being the best option, but play around with it, see what it looks like. You can always just go back in and change this different time interpolation. Optical flow is really best time remapping, and we're gonna do that in just a little while. So I'm gonna leave this as frame sampling and hit okay. And you can see it, it made it longer. If I play it, he's going backwards up the hill, which is pretty cool. So that's the reversed video. And it shoved this over, but if we zoom out, I'm gonna minus a couple times, you can see it shoved everything else over. So how do I fix that? I can simply right click and ripple delete. Another thing I could have done before I did this, so let me just undo. I oftentimes will lock the other tracks. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock the other tracks. Then we'll right click, speed and duration, make it go backwards, make this three seconds long. And you can see it didn't affect any of these. It just shifted this over. So if you're doing some time changes on track two, just lock the other tracks. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in on this. Another technique that you can use that's really easy, especially, let's say I wanna slow motion this jump. Well, let's first, let's fix the jump. Um, and it's really super easy. Obviously, the jump is a different resolution. So I think this this uh, interview is 1920 by 1080 and the jump is like 720. So the easy way to fix this is to simply double click on the clip itself. You get the little handles and then you can just stretch it out until it fit, fills the image. So that's a really, really easy fix and also a way that you can always do picture in picture. Now let's say I wanna move it over there. So let me undo that, stretch it back out. So that's how you do picture in picture or stretch a picture out. Now I want to make this last the, the length of this green clip here. So an easy way to do that is with the rate stretch tool. So let's come over here and click and hold on the ripple edit tool or the rolling edit tool, whichever tool you have open on top. And the rate stretch tool is on the bottom. Keyboard shortcut is R, I guess. And then you just click and drag it out. That's how easy it is to do slow motion. Just grab the right stretch tool and click and drag it. So I use the right stretch tool when I want to visually fill a gap with a clip. So let's watch that. Cool. So those are the two basic simple ways to play around with uh, time, speed. The last one I wanna show you, I love this one, uh, jump where the guy crashes. It's called crash. So let's bring open the crash. Let's cut or trim to the good spot. <laughs> I love the audio on this too. But in this case, let's just grab the video and let's throw it down there. And I want this to stretch out in this area here. I'm going to kind of fill this area up with it. And this time we're going to do a little bit more sophisticated time 
changing and it's called time remapping. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of space here. So I want a little bit of space here and I'm maybe I'm going to move the audio down because right now really just kind of concentrating on this and I want to make this nice and big so that I can see it. And I'm going to zoom in just a hair and shift it over. There we go. So I can really kind of concentrate on this area right here. So we're going to create a time remap uh, and, and it's going to have these things called time ramps. So the first thing we want to do is we want to see the keyframes for time remapping. And if you right click on the little effects badge here, you can come here to time remapping and then speed. The default I believe is opacity. See how that has a dot. I'll come here to speed. We'll see that. And the next time I right click on this, see how it's got a dot. So that means that the keyframes now that we're working with on this clip, are the speed. So if I add a keyframe here, and this is just like when we were working with the audio, you can add keyframes right here with the, the keyframe button. You can grab the pen tool, or if you hold control down with the selection tool, you can add a keyframe. So let's say I want to do slow motion right here when he reaches the peak. That's when I want to really slow it down. So I'll add a keyframe here. And I'll come down here and add a keyframe right when he lands. That would be a cool spot. So I'm going to have two keyframes. And each of these keyframes has two sides to it. So if I click and drag this out, see how that creates two sides? And this is what's going to be the, the ramp where the speed changes. Here is my overall speed, this rubber band, this line here. So let's say I want to slow it down. I'm going to click and drag this line down. I'm doing it right in between those two keyframes. And notice there's a number here. So I'm going to go down to 40% or approximately 40%. It doesn't have to be exactly 40%. I'm going to let go and it's going to obviously create a longer. So it just kind of stretches it out. And this ramp that I drug out earlier allows me to control how long it's going to take to go from 100% here to 40% there. So let's watch it now. So it's 100% and then it slows down and it goes to 40% here. Let's do the same thing on this one. Let's stretch this out and allow it to take some time to come back to 100%. So we'll play it again. Slows down 40% and comes back out. So that's how you play around with time remapping. And at any time you can stretch this further out. I can make it even go slower. See how smooth that is to go in and out of your speed changes. So that's time remapping. Play around with it. You can do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and go to window and effect controls. And if I twirl open this control here, You can see my time remapping. All those controls are here in the effect controls as well. So let's say I wanted to move this, this one over. I can just grab that and move. See how that's changing my, my speed ramps. Um, so that, you know, at any time you can come in here and play around with these things in the effect controls or here on the timeline. Hi everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development and click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.